But Timur Rajabo is ready for quarterfinals. Congratulations, Timur. Yeah, hello, hello. Hi. Good to see you. Thank you very much. <laughs> It got quite uh, interesting in the end here. Um, you know, anything could have happened in the last round. Were you nervous at all? No, I don't care, to be honest. I'm just fine. I'm I'm a professional and for a long time, you know, in this business. So it's uh, it's just fine. Yeah. Mm. Um, it has been, I've, it, it's been um, quite a few kind of quick draws for you as well, Timur. I think like six, maybe. Um, some people yeah. out there has been a little bit critical of that. Why? Why do you sometimes go into these quick draws? Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm used to you know the, the, <laughs> this critical opinions, so it's fine uh, throughout my career. So it's uh, just normal. I mean, for all the other players, top players as well. Um, it's still better than uh, Magnus's draw against uh, Nakamura with Kingi two and Kingi seven. So yeah. it's still fine. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just the point is to qualify. Yeah, I mean, um, as I felt that I don't have enough energy to fight in my games, so I just saw that I will try to keep it as black and try to qualify. And uh, as I've managed and decided I won the, one of the majors, so I think that uh, my strategy more or less works, mm. which is, uh, I mean, which is anyway uh, good for public because we will anyway play, you know, the the, um, the knockout stage and stuff. So there always w will be a winner. Mm. So it's just fine. That's what I like with the system. And uh, yeah, sometimes you can do the same and not qualify like I did in the last tournament. But um, yeah. I just don't care about this uh, critical opinions. I'm fine, mm -hmm. and we see a lot of draws like this in all the other top players. So I don't think that I will. I, I should be, you know, the one to to be mentioned all the time here. No, uh, definitely, it's been several players um, who has had quite a few uh, quick draws. Um, uh, I have to ask you though, in the end, there when it gets quite exciting in the last round, um, you could have been out, Levon could have been out, Alvarez could have been out. You know, we were following so many games. Do you kind of regret it a little bit that you maybe could have secured your spot earlier? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I had my chances in some of the games. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just. Um, yeah, where I could really win the games. Let's say like against Firuja, I think I had a great chance. I was a bit too cautious there, but just playing F6 probably was kind of winning. And uh, yeah, I regret a bit, of course, but uh, still it's fine. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, also regretted the game against uh, uh, the Indian Prodigy. I yeah. mean, I, I, yeah, I was uh, not really focused the way I should be there. And I was kind of invincible, so I didn't think that any, anything, uh, you know, bad could happen there. So yeah, I regret some of the games, but um, yeah, overall it's okay. I think it's fine. My level is generally more or less uh, okay and uh, certainly better than the previous tournament. So it's fine. And Timo, you mentioned the Indian prodigy, uh, Pragnananda. Um, were you impressed by him? Um, do you think he'll go far in future? Yeah, I think, and then also think that uh, I mean, uh, beside him, of course, the uh, you know the Indian uh, youngsters are just amazing now. And um, they're conducting a lot of uh, training sessions with top players like Kramnik and so on. And they're really progressing very fast. They're 24-7 uh, working chess. So uh, I think they have a very bright future, including, uh, of course, uh, the Pragnananda and, uh, yeah, and many other players. I mean, they're around, certainly. Yeah, I think he has a bright future. Mm. Definitely. And of course, Timur, we're super excited because it's going to be you and Magnus Carlsen in the quarterfinals. So what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, always happy to play against Magnus. And uh, certainly there will be no quick draws, I guess. So it's fine. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see who prevails. But certainly I will do my best to fight against Magnus in the quarterfinals. And uh, finally, how do you feel about playing so late in the night? Mm. <laughs> Um, yeah, fine, 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 fine. I'm anyway going uh, late to sleep, so it's fine. And uh, also uh, talking a lot to my colleagues around the world, the ex-world champions and everyone else, and they're all like, you know, the night owls, so they stay uh, very late at night, and so it's fine. Uh, they're awake. And um, yeah, I just feel okay. That's okay. But the pressure, of course, is uh, very high here. Mm. I mean, you can really... Um, um, you can really lose the spot like uh, every moment, more or less, including the last round. So always some pressure is there, but uh, we're just used to this pressure, so it's okay. But um, yeah, I feel fine about it. It's okay. Um, you mentioned your support network, um, including X World Champions. Are you allowed to name names, Timo? Ooh, exciting. <laughs> um, well, I, I would prefer not to mention them because I think they're not really a support. It's just my friends, more or less. And that I know them for, for a very long time, for many years, for maybe, um, I don't know, more than 20 years from now. So, um, yeah, it's just a friendly conversations and sometimes giving advices. 
and um, yeah, you know them quite well, so it's fine. <laughs> I think you can guess. There are not too many expo champions. Mm. Um, uh, finally, Timur, <laughs> I know it's late for you. I just, uh, you know, we, the candidates finished today with Jan Nepomniachi. We all know you were supposed to be playing there. Is it sort of a strange feeling for you to see that end without you being um, competing? Um, yeah, it's kind of uh, pity to see that the tournament is, was going without me, certainly. But uh, let's be fair. I mean, he deserved this victory and... Uh, I mean, uh, the tournament was played, so he was there and he deserved the victory in the tournament. So uh, certainly I have very good relations with Jan and uh, I wish him luck a lot of times uh, during different events and we're very friendly with him. So uh, yeah, I think that he really did a great job, especially in the uh, in the last round. I think it was like, not the last round, not the last game, but like this, um, you know, the second part of the tournament. I think that uh, he really lived through hard times uh, during this year because he was leading, he was kind of close to this great achievement and uh, he had to wait for a long time and prepare and probably not, he wasn't sure about his preparation, I guess, some openings and stuff. And as you see here, certainly he, um, you know, he changed his openings and so on. So I think he really did a great job and emotionally he stayed on top, but I'm also impressed by um, by Anish's performance, and I think he could do better, uh, you know, uh, especially in the last round, of course. I think he was a bit, it was a bit too much to play this. He had to go for the King's Indian at least against Quishu, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I would be happy about it. Do you think Jan has a chance against Magnus in November? Yeah, of course. I mean, he's, uh, what, world number four now or something. So uh, it's quite close, and uh, I think he will work uh, very hard. I know that he worked very hard for the candidates, uh, This the second part. And uh, I think he did a tremendous job there. He just changed a lot and uh, he just changed a bit the repertoire as well because he certainly had the problems in the first round, I, I mean, in the first lap of the event. And um, yeah, I think he will do a lot of, uh, you know, great work there with a lot of coaches and, you know, yeah, I mean, he has his chances and I think it will be a great match. Um, let's be fair, Magnus is a favorite there, but uh, it will be a very hard match for him, especially that I think that his score is not uh, so great against Jan or something. I think he's on minus score probably. Am I right on that? Mm -hmm. In the classical games, probably he's on slight minus. But okay, it doesn't mean anything, of course. And uh, I think uh, Karakin was on a uh, huge minus against Carlsen before the match. And uh, we saw that he really was very close to win the championship. So it doesn't mean that much in this, you know, in this uh, two players, uh, you know, competition mm -hmm. where I think the one who prepares better just prevails there. Well, tomorrow it's going to be you against Magnus Carlsen, uh, team. Good yeah. luck in the quarterfinals. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us.